Exclamation, everybody, and welcome uh, to Recon uh, Control. It is by Dmitry Kozlov and published by Grab the Games. Uh, the publisher, Grab the Games, was kind enough to provide me with a key uh, to play this game early, so I can kind of show it off for you folks. It is set to release on the 4th, uh, which is when you'll be seeing this video. Um, but I'm playing it uh, right now, a uh, day beforehand. And um, it's a uh, 2D, it builds itself as a platformer, but it's tactical, turn-based platformer. Um, which I know sounds uh, weird when you first hear it, but um, there have been other games uh, in a similar vein. One that I particularly liked was called Steam World Heist. Part of the Steam World uh, um, universe uh, that did something very similar to this, so that's why this kind of stood out in my mind amongst the many uh, keys and offers I, I get. And I wanted to just take a look at it. I haven't played any of the game yet, so this will be my first time looking at it um, with you folks. So, without further ado, uh, also um, I don't know. It says version 1.0 on the screen here, so I assume that November 4th will be a full release. Um, but they don't explicitly say whether it's a full release or an early access release that's coming, but, um, based on what I've read, it looks like it'll probably be a full release because it, uh, you know, based on some of their news updates. So, uh, anywho, uh, we're going to give this game 30 minutes of our time and see what it does, uh, for us, if anything. And that timer will start now. Thank you. Um, and we'll just do uh, this one, Operation Rabbit Animal. Uh, our new game in normal mode. Uh, yeah, there is an Iron Man mode, uh, if you want to do it, but uh, we'll do normal. What do we have here? Um, in 10 control points to unlock the final mission and complete it. You can restart a replay failed mission. Oh, we have to get 10 points. We'll five, four, nine. Okay, I see. Interesting. All we can do is do the safe house, though. Uh, our first target is the 13 Apes Extremist Group Safe House. There's plenty of paperwork and electronic devices inside the apartment, which may contain important data on faction operations. Also, with the help of this strike, we are planning to stop their recruitment activity in the region. Intelligence considers the adjacent building rooftop as the most optimal entry point. Enter the building and eliminate... Enemy force it. So this gives us two stars, thirty-six hundred dollars. Look, fighter. Okay, what do we have here? There's all kinds of skill trees. Um, we can see all our fighters here. Uh, what do you have? You have two. Doesn't look like there's any. Tool tips, which is a little bit weird. I mean, I, I, I mean, I can get that this is like aim, the crosshairs, and I guess fist is a uh, melee. I don't know what he, the key icon is. I don't know if he's got lock picking abilities. I don't know what that. I don't know what that means, or or breaking and entering abilities. I don't know. And then the running, I guess, is agility. But yeah, you should probably still have, you know, cool tips and stuff over those. Uh, and then there's all kinds of special skills. Okay, so melee. Oh, here. Oh, it's. Oh, uh, okay. It lines up right over here. Okay, I take it back. The firearms is that symbol. Melee inventory is a symbol. So this has like medic and health stuff. And then body. Okay, I take it back. They're on the screen. I just I just had some LP blindness there, as we do. <laughs> little little streamer blindness, YouTuber blindness, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, so we don't have anything that I can do there, but that's what the stars are for. I guess to use that, I suppose. Um, that's our loadout. So, uh, who do I so? We have a med pack, but I'd like to get somebody who's got inventory stuff. So you've got inventory stuff. Uh, 
don't know what's your point but you're also that uh who is a bad shop but also inventory okay you you've got that so let's give you oh i guess okay they they all have med pack then okay i thought there was or is that that true oh okay I guess they I guess they all have med pack available to them. That was, that was weird. I thought I was like I don't know, I thought I was dragging and dropping, but that's not how that is going. Okay. Um or I I guess we'll take uh, uh who do we want here? Um I've got all I've got all these choices, I don't know who I want. Uh let's take Harry, um, and Walker and Quick, and I guess, uh, um, I guess McCoy, sure, let's do that. I have like I'm having choice paralysis here. All right, action cancel. Uh, move camera. WSD also moves the camera. Space to finish turn. Okay. What do we got here? So we're doing. So we're moving you. Going through there. No one can see you yet. Theoretically. Um, are you, who are you? You're Perry, right? AP, King Killer's Med Kit. Um, you go down here. I thought they would be visible down there. Um left four AP left. Let's leave you there for the moment. Um I guess you'll be you'll be seen well be seen here but then he can shoot this guy so what do you have on you you've only got a pistol though get you reaching I think you have I wish I knew if he was the one that had better targeting skills which I can't remember from the other screen but let's have you reach there AP. You four AP for all his actions? Hmm. Well, that sucks. Either of those guys. Alright, you come down here, I guess. For now, well, damn, that wasn't uh, wasn't great, was it? Um, okay. I see and who can I see? I come forward here and shoot that guy.
guess the, I guess I could have like repelled down here or something. Like down to these. Coming through the, these doors seemed like a really bad idea. Of course you missed that guy. Wow. That guy's stuck. <laughs> they really suck. behind the sofa. So right there is where we can actually hit him. So wherever these faces are is where we can actually stand, right? Okay, because there's a door here. I was wondering why that was the case. This will give me six AP left, all right. Uh, headshots, 17% chance. Oh, ambush canceled. Oh, I can only, oh, I see. That was, I pushed, I just pushed the wrong button. I, I thought that was another attack, but that was an ambush. It did bursts. Oh, that other guy just fell over. Uh, okay. Guys are dropping like flies here. Oh, that guy, that guy died, and I lost all these other ones. Oh, that was pretty bad. Let's see if I can do a better job of that. Now I kind of understand it a little bit better. I wonder, can I like drop down? I can go through there, but it's gonna be. Hmm. 
Hmm. We'll come down to this door. But I won't open it yet. This guy immediately sees me. I guess he, I guess, because I went through that highlight there. Um, of course, I would miss that. Oh, I didn't quite get through with that last time. Yeah. Into cover. I don't know why there's no sound. Like sometimes there's sound and Sometimes there isn't. I have left. Did it actually tell me? 27, I guess? And two mags. Alright, I think we're okay there. Um. Damn. Ambushed. Shots, you bastards. Great. Oh, <laughs> just fell over. Um, okay. So I did it with um, <laughs> only two deaths that time. Uh, okay, let's just continue. And we'll get replacements for those guys. <clears throat> okay, so they're... Um, so like if I look at skills now, they have two stars. Alright, so I can buy things, right? Melee combo. Strength. Rent. Hmm. Accuracy bonus, maybe. And look at that as well. Then you, um, they handle shotguns, machine guns, sniper rifles. All right, let's do that. Sure. Oh, I didn't actually accept this guy's things. Okay. There we go. Alright. So I, I, I'm assuming in like Iron Man mode, like you don't get replacements, I suppose. I guess that's how that works. 
Uh, okay. Um, go to the stash here. The help of recently gained intelligence data, we found out the location of one of the 13 Apes Group headquarters. The shelter is arranged in the basement of a residential building. The main entrance is well guarded. Intelligence suggests it is possible to enter the facility through a sewer system. The lower level of the shelter stores supplies of food, uh, fuel and food, infiltrate the headquarters and destroy the stash. Destroy the old stash. Okay. Wait. Uh... I wanted to do... Yeah, how did... Didn't let me stop that. Loadouts. Um... What do you... Wait, skills, you have... One of those things, okay. Um... Is there anything I want you to have otherwise? We have one gold bar. Can't do anything with that. How about head? Um. Yeah, we should. Okay, so, you, so the bar unlocks it to be bought. Okay. Let's get the army helmets on people. Um, all right, the head army stash with, uh, you also with that, I'm guessing I'll probably take, um, like these guys over here, probably. Probably should equip their body armor too. Don't take quite as much damage. Secondary. Do we have a sniper rifle here? No. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that then just yet. Oh, it says it here firearms. Okay. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Dash. The fighters. So we got those two and these two. That. What was it saying here? That there's no... Rolls and no reinforcement. But there are just enemy. I guess what that's saying. I don't know. Looks like they're modifiers. Okay. Alright, so... I'm gonna go here. This is the stash that we have to destroy, right? I don't know what the white... Oh, is this is this a vent that you can just kind of get into? There's locked doors here. But where is that vent at? Is there another... Looks like there's something down here too. Can't really tell. Um, hmm, you over here into cover.
Hmm. This mission skill plus 30% mass object. We can do more damage to it, I guess. I feel like this guy's gonna come walking back out again, but. Yeah, what is this down here? I don't even know what that is. Of course he would come walking back out of there again. They said there wasn't any patrols. <laughs> from what I could see, but that looks really like a patrol to me. I can over here a little bit and then him. And then I'm very, very exposed here. Not, it was not easy, that's for sure. Um, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. As long as there's a little bit I can, you know, see where I'm going wrong. So why can't I shoot this guy? Is he just out of range? This guy just forgot and he's gonna be there. I mean not enough AP. I said one AP for that. Oh now it says three AP for it. Well, I guess it was one AP just to switch over to it? I don't that's weird. The reason I switched to it is because it said it was one AP. like two feet for oh because I don't have my okay I'm like he's like two feet in front of me how is he out of range yeah my guys are not uh like I'm not really managing their uh health too well here unfortunately like my guys are dropping over just from bleeding and stuff. Oh wow, he just ambushed me? 
Well, I guess the I guess the the icon above their head means that they're going to ambush you. That's interesting. I guess this is just part of the mission I gotta do. Throwing the stash. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. It seems like going down here probably not gonna work out too well for us. Multiple lock doors here, but we only have one guy to deal with there. Well, technically, but there is more over there. We don't even really need to deal with them either. If we're fast enough. He's alerted. That's why they have this here, so you can kind of go sneak through that way, I guess. But even then, I don't know. Does that get you anywhere? I feel like that's kind of a... Like that grate's there, but it doesn't look like it's actually it actually gets you anywhere. Ambush on. These guys can see yeah. us. Uh, you know what? Let's just stay here and make them come to me. Open that door though, are they? <laughs> just not gonna help me out and just open that door, huh? those shots. Oh, you gotta hit those shots. Damn you. Alright, what do you get? You can get a shot on him. Right, you need to heal yourself. him now. You need to heal yourself. Meant to move that guy down one more, but oh well. Not doing so great here. Not not doing so great. Uh, I guess it would have been nice if I, like, had bought maybe grenades or something, maybe. If there are such a thing in the game.
Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, I'm really bad at this, really, really bad. And this is this is normal mode. <laughs> this is this is normal difficulty, and I am just getting absolutely annihilated, friends. But I mean, uh, you know, I guess it makes sense. I uh, I feel I feel woefully under equipped. Right, um, and it's very early in the game. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's was there even a? Uh, let me see. Is there a way to like? Are there grenades or anything in here? Like, I don't. So there are grenades, flash grenades. I mean, it seems to me like that's probably what you really need to do is basically pop into that section where I was and just toss grenades up at them <laughs> you know I mean because they cause the other thing is too like when, once one guy sees you like every other person on the map seems to know exactly where you are which is kind of a strange I would say um like, it doesn't seem to me, like, like one of the things that I would like to be able to do here, and, and maybe you can, but I don't I don't see how you would do it, like, um, I would like to be able to, you know, like, go in and go for, like, a stealth kill, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Where you walk up on them, like, from behind, you know, walk up from them and do a melee, and then it just, like, you know, snaps their neck or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know if that's a thing in the game or not, but it's, um right now it just it, it feels very um i don't, I don't know i, I don't want to say unbalanced but it, it does feel like um you're really meant to just keep grinding your face against the same map over and over and over again until finally you have enough stuff to actually do things the, the, the other thing is too though when you fail though you don't get any money right so i don't which is a weird thing, right? It's like, okay, you failed the mission, but shouldn't it just like say like here's some here's some cash so that you can continue to like build your people up and not like, well, I guess you gotta redo that again, you know? Like I guess you gotta restart. You can't. You have no other choice. And then, but you're restarting with the same, pretty much the same equipment you had, which is really the. The big problem, I think, in the beginning here is that you just don't have equipment. Even the equipment that you have doesn't seem to work that well. Like, I put helmets and body armor on these guys, and they still kind of get their faces wrecked really quickly. Right? Even the ones who leveled up the corporal. So, I, I, don't, I don't know. It feels a bit heavy-handed in how it's doing things. Even in normal mode, it feels kind of heavy-handed, I would say. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I, I, it's um, it's definitely a challenge. So if you're looking really for a challenge, I'd say this game is definitely challenging. I just don't know that it's a. I'm on the fence as to whether it's a balanced challenge. You know what I mean? Like, it, it feels, it feels just a little bit. I don't know. I, I don't know how I don't know how to put it. like there's also a, a bit of a clunkiness to the menus as well like I always like I felt like you know even though I could see the stats of my guy I felt like I couldn't see the stats when I needed them during the game right so it's like you have to remember who is what based on their names I guess which I'm never good at remembering names which is kind of bad so I, I don't know like I feel like in the game, maybe I should be able to right-click on your on your character and be able to see all their stats. Maybe you could. I didn't try it, but um, it it just feels like there's a little bit of a, a little bit of clunkiness around it. Like the menus feel a little bit like they could be laid out a little bit better. Um, you know, it just yeah, 
like selecting your selecting your troops for the next battle or you know or just you're selecting them at the bottom and then you're going to the top to continue it's just it's kind of it's just kind of weird how things are kind of laid out i feel like they could have maybe consolidated them into a better menuing screen or something um where it was more obvious or or use tabs or something you know have have your character but then have all their information there in tabs or something like that you know it just it just feels just like a, there's a slight bit of clunkiness there um which uh i feel like is kind of affecting what kind of information i have or don't have um and the maps are so far they're okay i i wouldn't it doesn't really feel like you have that many options as far as how you want to how you want to assault something, you know what I mean? Like I like the first map in particular, like I would have liked to be able to repel down the side of the building and I I just it didn't seem like I could do that. Um and maybe maybe that's again something else later on in the game, I don't know. It just uh it feels like it feels like you kind of have uh, options on how to approach something, but then you you really don't. It's like every option is just kind of as as bad as the last option, you know? Um, that's the weird thing. And then grouping up like I did there at the end, you, you would think would be a bad thing, but honestly, we took out quite a lot of people before they started really knocking down my dudes. Um, I think... Whenever you have like a bleeding status or something on your characters, it probably should be a little more obvious. I mean, I, I know that there's icons and stuff on the on the screen, but again, like I said, there's kind of this like clunkiness to the UI. It's just like things are kind of scattershot a little bit. Um, you know, it, it, you know, if you throw something up in a corner of the screen, nobody's going to see that <laughs> because you're too focused on what's going on on the action in the middle of the screen. You know, whereas if you put stuff at the bottom in the middle, like in the middle bottom of the screen, you're more likely to see it because you're looking at that part of the screen, you know? Um, but anyway, I mean, I, I think it's still pretty good all around. I think in, you know, uh, anybody looking for a, a good challenge, I think this will, I think this is a good challenging, uh, game here and there's nothing wrong with it, uh, mechanically or anything that I can see. Like I said, I just, it feels a little bit unfair at the beginning. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, like I said, if you're, if you don't mind a challenge, this, this, this looks like it'll definitely challenge you. Uh, but this, my friends, has been Recon Control. It is by, uh, Dmitry Kozlov and published by Grab the Games. It's coming out for release on Steam on November 4th, the day that you're, you're watching this. Um... Also, I was, uh, you know, full disclosure, given a key for this game early so that I could play it early uh, from the from the publisher. Uh, so thank you to them. And uh, yeah, as always, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time. <laughs>